the Glamour Boys coming up. Always a fun division, another deep group this season. Give you a look at the, the history in this particular category. The stakes record belongs to Racing Hill from back in 2016. Right here was a 148 and 148 winner on that occasion. The record purse from back in 2009 when the event was held at Woodbine Racetrack in Toronto, a $625,000 purse. Brett Pelling already with a crown title under his belt this afternoon. He has won four times in the Glamour Boy division and Michael Schantz is the leading driver. There's the outstanding field of 10. And I think for many people, the big question mark coming in, Mike, is will today finally be the day for the hard luck Perfect Sting? Yeah, Perfect Sting uh, has a lot of second place efforts coming off a victory in the Breeders' Crown Elimination off a really nice qualifier. But before that, second, second, second was a winner of the Jug Elimination was second the Pepsi North America Cup. You know, is today the day for Hall of Fame trainer Joe Holloway? I guess we'll see. Uh, that's one of the big storylines. The other big storyline uh, in this is Charlie May returns to the Meadowlands, the scene where he was disqualified in this year's Meadowlands pace. So a couple of really big storylines here uh, with Perfect Sting and Charlie May. But the other storyline is we're looking at, we're talking about driver uh, records, Mike LaChance has four victories in this event. Tim Tietrich has three and he'll drive Chase H. Hanover. And he was pretty good last week in his elimination. So uh, I think one that you've, you've got to give some consideration to uh, in this spot here this afternoon is get a nice look at the, the entire field uh, getting ready to go in our paddock location. Uh, for Perfect Sting, um, boy, he's, he's just been knocking at the door all season long. And I think a lot of people are are quietly rooting for him to, to finally get his moment in the spotlight because he's a he's a top level colt and he really does deserve it. Yeah, our uh, own Jess Gotten last night, uh, she is very much a perfect Sting fan and for good reason. I mean, you know, 1.5 million in earnings, how could you be disappointed with perfect Sting? But if you're looking at the uh, win, place and show column, eight seconds and 15 starts. So finishing second just about half the time. It's amazing the kind of record the perfect thing is put together. And, uh, you know, it's not like the Colt doesn't know how to win. Right. And, uh, you know, I think uh, that's why people are sticking with him week after week because uh, you know that he is uh, truly a, a top level performer. Uh, he is a Breeders' Crown winner, of course, yep. uh, from last year. He was in the, the big dead heat for win in the two year old uh, Colt division. So uh, I've got faith in him. Uh, I think today is his day. Uh, I like the way he won the elimination and he's really holding his form well over the course of the season. Starting gate is rolling. Ken Warkenden, the voice of the Meadowlands racetrack is now back in the booth. He'll take us the rest of the way this afternoon. You are watching live coverage of day two of the Breeders' Crown Championships from the Big M. The Glamour Boys are getting set to do battle. Here's Ken with the call. The Breeders' Crown Final, $600,000. Breeders' Crown Final presented by Diamond Creek Farm. Seven to five on two, Charlie May. Elimination winner, eight to five on the five, Perfect Sting. He was also an elimination winner. They square off here in the Breeders' Crown Final presented by Diamond Creek Farm for $600,000. It starts the 50 cent early pick four. Here they come. And they're off. Chase H. Hanover fast out of the uh, out of the start here with Perfect Sting uh, out sprinted in second. And Charlie May from the inside into the top three. A bunk of bad Hanover fourth as they swing around the first turn. Southwind Gendry from the rail got away in fifth position. Rocky Road Hanover on the outside sixth. Then it's Al Drink to that going up seventh on the outside, followed, followed by Heart of Chewbacca and Southwind Peter and Water Sports Teen at the back as Perfect Sting. Elimination winner takes over from Chase H. Hanover second. Charlie May fed racetrack by Brett Miller. The elimination winner goes after Perfect Sting early here, 27 and 3. A buck of Ben Hanover fourth across the back stretch. Southwind Gendry is fifth. Then it's Rocky Road Hanover on the inside, sixth, followed by I'll Drink to That and Heart of Chewbacca. Southwind Peter and Water Sports Teen. So taking over command, it's Charlie May and Brett Miller. Charlie May and Perfect Sting. The elimination winners, 1 2 here. Chase H. Hanover third. The half up in a rated 55 and 4. 
Ford, 28 and 1. A buck of Bad Hanover, fourth on the inside. Southwind Gendry uncovered, fifth on the outside. Staying in was Southwind Peter, sixth. And three wide, seventh comes Heart of Chewbacca from the back of the pack. I'll drink to that, gets rolling from last three wide as well. And then on the inside, Southwind Peter is shuffled to the rear with Water Sports Team over by three quarters. And at that station, it's Charlie May. The ball's in his court. Perfect sting angles out to take his late shot. So the stage is set here in the Breeders' Crown. 123 and four in the stretch. Charlie May will try to hold on. Perfect sting has dead aim on him on the outside and Chase H on over third. Charlie May. Push to the hilt and going full tilt. Perfect Sting right by and drawing clear. It's a perfect Breeders Crown for Perfect Sting. Then Charlie May, Chase H Hanover, and Rocky Road Hanover. Perfect Sting in 149 and 4. Joe Holloway, uh, just as they were coming to the wire, the big fist pump uh, when he knew he was home free. And today, finally, the day for perfect sting. He's been the bridesmaid so many times this season, and uh, this will be his moment in the spotlight. A long time between victories for Joe Holloway in this category. You have to go all the way back to 1995 with the one and only Jenna's Beach Boy going to get done on that occasion. Today, perfect sting adds his name to the record books. And for driver David Miller, it is his second victory um, in this race. Amazing that he's only got two victories in three-year-old Colton Gelding pace. But what a mile here by Perfect Sting. You know, we talked about it off camera, 27-3. and three, He kind of had to work hard to get to the lead. Uh, I was surprised to see kind of Charlie May attack as quickly as he did. I mean, they got to the half at 55-4, and 28-1 panel there. You know, it was a pretty leisurely pace uh, as we're going to have to deal with an inquiry here uh, in race number six. Uh, we'll have to get from Ken Warkin in here in just a moment what the inquiry is all about. But uh, five, two, six, seven probably had to do with what happened at the top of the stretch there. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, a buck about Hanover with the miscue and kind of scattered uh, some horses in behind. Uh, I don't think it will have any effect on the top two. They kind of had it to themselves, yep. uh, the two big guns that I really got away with soft fractions for this level of competition. 55 and 4, you knew it was going to be a sprint to the end. And a uh, perfect sting uh, took dead aim on Charlie May, who could not fend him off here this afternoon. Uh, perfect sting, uh, some redemption there as well. A horse that, uh, you know, he said, I think his backers all season long, people that, that believed in him and backed him week in and week out and others that are probably detractors and yeah. wondering you know if he was the type that was beating himself or maybe didn't have that killer instinct that uh, today he certainly did he he was bearing down on charlie may in the stretch and uh and really it was a uh, no match over the final 16th no not at all i mean you know charlie may was strong but perfect thing i mean just impressive uh, here as we take a look at the inquiry at a very jubilant uh, just gotten but this is what the uh, stewards are currently looking at here um in between horses there looks like water sports team got a little bit uh got a little bit rough uh, around the turn there and uh maybe cause the bucket bed handover to go off stride. All right, Jess Otten, her colleague uh, <laughs> off camera, come over and she is all smiles. Uh, she has been uh, firmly in the backer category of this colt all season long. Uh, he is a statuesque uh, looking individual and yep. always be Mickey. What a Breeders Crown weekend it has been for that stallion. Yeah, you're not kidding. Considering everything Always Be Mickey went through, you know, from the broken bones to the 146 mile to winning his breeder's crowd at Woodbine, uh, Always Be Mickey has really turned into a really nice uh, stallion. It'll be interesting to see some of his offspring, um, not just here, but overseas as well, uh, Always Be Mickey. So it's perfect sting. Comes into the winner's circle, David Miller, uh, you know, Hall of Famer in his own right. He's won every race uh, there is just about to known and he is very, very happy. I'm sure that he is relieved. Uh, you know, there's got to be a sense of relief after winning a race like this, uh, especially when Perfect Sting has just been kind of, you know, second, 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 and finally gets to the winner's circle. And with year-end honors, uh, perhaps in the balance here, that's a huge win, uh, absolutely huge win for Perfect Sting uh, to have a shot at that. Yeah, huge win, and, uh, and here's another invitation to the TVG final right here at the Meadowlands uh, for Perfect Sting. So, you know, that uh, we're looking at another Breeders' Crown uh, championship.
possibly. Uh, coming up in November, uh, you've got a couple of very talented horses heading to the TVG final um, and Perfect Sting. Just an amazing, amazing performance. The caretaker here, just loving on Perfect Sting. You love to see that. The celebration is on. There was Joe Holloway as the horses were coming to the wire and he knew that Perfect Sting was finally going to get his long overdue big Grand Circuit victory this season. Perfect Sting is now a Breeders' Crown Champion. Second win for Joe Holloway. For Brittany Farms, the Breeders, uh, they've had a tremendous record. Uh, you go back to horses like Art Escape, Life Sign in this particular division. It had been a while for them, uh, but they are uh, partnered in the breeding on this one with Val Dior Farm, so congratulations to all of the connections. I believe we're going to head over trackside now and uh, catch up uh, here in a moment with yep. those winning connections. But yeah, nice to see that raw emotion from Joe Holloway. You know how much this meant to him. Oh my goodness. You know, to be second so many times, you know, I, I relate it a lot of times uh, to the NASCAR fans. Uh, you know, Dale Earnhardt tried for so long to win the Daytona 500 and after 20 tries finally did it just to see that raw emotion. Uh, we saw Lucas Wallen last night, you know, just in tears. I can only imagine what Joe Holloway feels like right now. Uh, you know, he, he's euphoric right now. Who knows, maybe he'll get into his uh, emotions a little bit later on and after he has time to kind of sit down and think about it. A little bit different, uh, you know, when you go back to 95 and he had Jenna's Beach Boy, uh, a totally expected result. Uh, yep. Jenna was uh, was the, the cream of the crop uh, and went on to be one of the greatest older pacers uh, to this day that we've seen. Uh, where this guy, as good as he's been, as impressive as his resume is, uh, you know, he had that bit of a blemish or that, that cloud hanging over him that he hadn't been able to win the big race. And uh, so it's nice to see that redemption finally happen. Yeah, for sure. And uh, obviously, perfect thing. You pays $4.40 here. Uh, you know, sweet redemption. And uh, let's send it to Gabe Pruitt, who's with Joe Holloway. Motions here. You had a deep breath as you approach me over here. Is it a sense of relief, accomplishment? How does it feel to get this big win, perfect thing? Well, both of those. Uh, relief, he finally showed up, and uh, we've been consistent all year, but hadn't gotten the job done. We needed to get a signature win. This is a pretty good way to do it. Yeah, and it's your ninth breeder's crown. Never gets old, I'm assuming. No, that never gets old, but it's really special with this horse. And what do you think, uh, as you said, you mentioned last week, maybe he doesn't always get the respect he deserves to be such a consistent uh, animal all season long. You know, this signature win has to beat a lot. Exactly. Uh, he's been the most consistent. He's paid the most money. And I realize we lost a few races. It looks like we should have won. But uh, I just think he's a great horse, and uh, he deserved today. Over $1.2 million this season. We're going to bring in co-owner Mr. George Siegel here at Brittany Farms. And uh, Mr. Siegel, talk to us. Uh, co-owner, of course, along the Valley of your farms. Talk to us about uh, this today. Trip worked out pretty good. Got to leave. Got to sit on Charlie Mays' back and out slugged him to the finish. It was very exciting, yes. Uh, the horse performed. The horse always performs. He just put it all together today. Back-to-back to back Breeders' Crown Championships, that feels pretty good as well. Absolutely. Not too many horses do that. And any thought process, I know you guys have always been dead game in the past. He gets an invitation now to the TVG final to race against older horses. What are your early thoughts on that? I don't think I have any early thoughts right now. Right now, I'll enjoy this. And we'll worry about that some other time. We're going to let you guys celebrate. Perfect Sting takes a big one. He's the Breeders' Crown Champion. Perfect Sting gets it done. Uh, nice to see a, a dry, smiling Gabe Pruitt <laughs> today. You know, he's a, he's a happy gentleman. George Siegel, uh, you, you know, it's just not the Breeders' Crown, it doesn't seem, uh, without seeing him uh, prominent. And uh, you look at the history of, of his operation over the years, uh, truly second to none. Perfect Sting, just over even money, and rewards uh, his backers today. Uh, knocks off Charlie May. Uh, didn't get the redemption he was looking for, but uh, the Colt raced fantastic again. Chase H Hanover, Rocky Road Hanover. Uh, horses that were mired near the back and just had a lot of traffic and, and a bit of a mix up at the top of the stretch to overcome. So uh, really beyond the top two, the others had trouble getting into the race. Yeah, a lot of the closers, you know, off those fractions just couldn't get into it. And, uh, you know, it was a stellar field at the top of the stretch. We both just kind of looked at each other. Okay, it's down to these two. Who's it going to be? And uh, perfect sting. Joe Holloway, I think, said it best. He finally showed up. That was his exact word. So he got, he's very, very happy. All right, guys. I am here with the breeders and owners of a perfect.
picking the winner of the Breeders' Crown three-year-old Colt Pace. First of all, I've got man off here, and I've got George Siegel to my right. All right, so I've got this trophy here, so I'm not sure which one of you gentlemen should I be giving this to. Um, are we going to have to saw it in half? or yeah, we'll, we'll figure that out <laughs> after we give it to the uh, caretaker. <laughs> oh, I love that. I love that. All right. Well, if you don't have anybody to give it to, I'll take it home with me because I'm loving it so much. Not this time, Heather. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe next time. First of all, Marty, so tell me about Perfect Sting and the matchup. I know as far as the Stallion and the Dam, both world no. champions. So um, I had ownership in both. Okay. Okay. And... Uh, so it was just natural. They were both world champions. Uh, both set um, perfect thing of 147 and uh, and uh, always a Mickey 146. So it was natural to put them together. Yes, absolutely. And, and look what we got. Yeah, <laughs> look what we got. The medics worked. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, as a breeder, George, what is your favorite part? Is it like the babies coming out? seeing them go through the sale, bring in big bucks, or I mean, I know you own this one, but I mean, I know that you've also, you know. Well, the biggest part is that Marty asked me to buy half of She Be Stingin', and we, he wanted to breed it to always be Mickey, and keeping it and getting it to win two breeders' crowns is fantastic. I'm just along for the ride. <laughs> um, how the ride. <laughs> some ride, right? Some ride. And actually, a little bit of a roller coaster ride this year, right? Some ups and downs. How'd you feel going in today's race? I hate to say this, but I was, thought we were going to win off last week's race. So this week, he was so good last week, and he seemed to be the old sting, and I, I, I felt we were going to win. Were you as confident? Maybe not as confident, but I was very happy with last week's race. I mean, he, he paced strong through the finish line which is something he hadn't done a couple of times and uh, I thought that that was great All right I'm ready to go ready to go and in the winter circle now in the Diamond Creek winter lounge loving it so much thank you guys so much George and Marty congratulations yeah. thank you very much <laughs>